Welcome back. They're a lifeline to those who need it most. I had the chance to sit down with Flavia Yiso from the Jackson Health Foundation to learn more about their impact in our community. Flavia, thank you so much for joining us here on Impact. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. So we all hear about Jackson Hospital, but this is the Jackson Health Foundation. So can you tell us what it is and what it does and how it helps this community? The Jackson Health Foundation is the fundraising arm for Jackson Health System, which, as you know, is the public hospital for Miami-Dade County. So our mission at the foundation is to really help raise funds in the areas that are not covered by operating revenue or the support that the healthcare system gets from tax dollars. So we help with the creation of major capital projects, with the purchases of equipment, and with the support of programs and services that are essential in keeping Jackson at the forefront of healthcare and provide world-class care to all of our residents in Miami-Dade County, regardless of their ability to pay. And what are the priorities of the foundation now? Well, the priorities are always to the same, right, which is what are the areas of greatest need for the community. But right now, we're working on the, uh, our latest expansion, which is a new emergency room for Jackson Memorial Hospital. That is the community's emergency room. They have over 100,000 visits a year. And the last time it was really upgraded was in the 1970s. So by 11 a.m. every morning, it's at capacity. So as you can imagine, in order to enhance the patient experience, in order to make the clinical staff and their experience be a bit more seamless, we need to grow. And that growth means we're in the process of now groundbreaking, possibly in November, for the largest emergency room in the country. It will more than triple in size. Can you tell us, I, we're in 2023, but obviously just three years ago, we were going through a one in a, in a century pandemic, which was COVID, of course. And what was the role of the foundation throughout that? And during that time, it was anything from finding housing for our clinical staff in the beginning when everyone was afraid of going home and we didn't really know what we were dealing with, um, providing meals, uh, getting transportation for our clinical teams. Everyone was working 24-hour shifts, in essence. And then on top of that, it was identifying donors and folks in this community and beyond who would step up to the plate and help us with medical equipment, testing supplies, uh, PPEs, right, which we all right. became so synonymous with that, and how could a healthcare system afford that? And it was really through the generosity of donors that we were able to do that. Uh, you talk about the generous donors. How is the foundation funded? Well, the foundation is funded mostly through private donations. We really don't receive any money from the state um, or from the federal government. Those funds go directly to the health care system. So we receive it from generous individuals, like I mentioned, like the Milton family or the Holtz family, you know, major gifts, and even individuals that are grateful patients that, you know, want to make a contribution, and they contribute $5 a month because they had such a wonderful experience at Jackson. Those are the most heartwarming stories for us um, when we get grateful patients that are really generous in that way. And then, of course, we do fundraising events, right? And, and that like really helps Angels? us. Like mm -hmm. the Golden Angels Gala, mm -hmm. which we were so successful with this year. We raised over three and a half million dollars, which is a huge effort. And the first time we've done, we've been that successful. And finally, how could we get involved? How can the community get involved with the foundation? Gosh, there's so many different ways. Probably the easiest thing I can say is if you visit our website, which is jacksonhealthfoundation.org, you'd find out about the different events and programs that we have where the average individual can become involved. That, that's probably the first step that I would say. So not only do we do events in the community, we also, if you are passionate about a particular area in medicine, if you're passionate about transplants or heart disease or liver disease, um, we're always looking for individuals that want to get engaged and involved in supporting those efforts. And really, at the end of it, you're just a grateful citizen of this community, and you understand that having a strong public health system is essential to you, then you can get involved. Flavia, we appreciate your work here in the community and the foundation. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you.